Hello students, this is question number 5 of paper 2 of J Advanced 2021 Physics. So a straightforward question, it talks about a fission reaction in which a nuclei N undergoes fission to get converted into P and Q. Okay, and N was initially at rest. Okay, so P and Q are lighter nuclei and delta denotes Mn minus Mp minus Mq which means delta is the mass defect. Okay, which means that the energy liberated in this reaction will be equal to C squared delta. And this energy will be liberated in the form of kinetic energy of dot of fragments. So EP and EQ, they represent the kinetic energy of P and Q. So this option is correct one, that the kinetic energy of dot of products will be equal to the Q value of the reaction, which will be equal to mass defect into C square. So this is correct. Now B option says EP is equals to some value. Okay. So let's try to understand this, that uh, the two daughter fragments P and Q, they will have the same momentum. So if they are going to have same momentum, then it means that root 2 MP into EP, okay, must be same as root 2 MQ into EQ. Okay, now this also means that MP into EP should be same as mq into eq now this means that when we are writing the value of ep okay because of the inverse proportion with mass mq should come in the numerator and the sum should come in the denominator okay and this is the fraction uh, that p will receive of the total liberated energy so this should be a correct option so therefore b option is incorrect because we are having mass of p in the numerator so this is incorrect now c option is a simple momentum conservation equation if you have a look at it very carefully so c option must be correct one now d option talks about the magnitude of momentum so let's say that the magnitude of momentum was p okay if that would have been the case then the kinetic energy of p would be p square by 2 mp and then we would have written p square by 2 mq as the kinetic energy of particle q and this sum should be should have been equal to c square delta so uh, this is what we would have got and solving this equation for the value of p we are going to get this value what is suggested here so that means d option is also correct so for question number five a c d are the correct option very simple straightforward question i'm expecting that lots of students would have done this question correctly all right guys take care i'll come with next video on the next question Bye-bye.